What's up, Truth Seekers? It's your boy, Ben, coming at you with another Truth Bomb, the most controversial take that's going to have you clutching at your pearls and gasping like a scandalized debutante. So have you heard the latest load of bull that butter wouldn't melt in her mouth? Megan has for her husband, Harry, spewing. The insufferable, shameless pair of hustlers and grifters have seriously lost any shred of dignity or self-awareness they might have had. Their desperation is more transparent than Harry's hairline. So, guys... Before we get started, I'd like to thank you for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button now and don't forget to press that all-important bell icon, guys. Now, let's get in to today's all-important video. Let's get to it. So, according to Meghan's puppet Prince Lapdog, none other than the dignified, graceful Princess of Wales herself is suddenly no longer eligible to carry out royal duties. Can you believe the audacity of this clown? Meghan's been broadcasting her jealousy and hatred for Kate since day one, but this is a new low. The reason this entitlement monster is claiming Kate unfit? Because the lovely princess is currently battling cancer and undergoing chemo. Yet, Meghan's bitterness and jealousy run so deep, she is actually using Kate's devastating diagnosis as an excuse to try to swoop in and steal the responsibilities. Have you ever witnessed anything more disgusting, heartless, and downright evil than this? This is exactly why the unhinged Duchess really needs to be stopped and shut down at all costs. Thank goodness we have a man of integrity like King Charles on the throne to put his philandering fool of a son and conniving daughter-in-law in their place. As soon as word reached him of Harry's outrageous proclamation, Charles didn't hesitate to throw that preposterous plea straight into the trash. Can't you just picture the irate king chuckling the paper across the room after reading Harry's rambling about installing himself and Meghan's working roles while Kate recovers? I can hear the roar of Have You Lost Your Mind echoing through the palace corridors. Of course, there was no chance in hell Charles would ever entertain such a backstab against his daughter-in-law. He adores Kate and is proud of her stoic strength. While Prince Petulant was living up in California moaning about his tragic life privilege, Kate was privately coming to terms with having cancer and preparing to fight for her life and her children. Her grace and family priorities couldn't be more opposite. So, you can bet your royal ass that Charles was seeing red at the mere idea of replacing the woman of honour and character. Toxic pair of grifters without hesitation. The king furiously slammed the door shut once and for all. That's right, fam. This was the final nail in the coffin of Harry and Meghan's pathetic crusade to be embraced by the royals after betraying them. Whatever faint misguided hope they clung to of pleasing the crown and reclaiming their roles and status has gone up in smoke with the latest unforgivable act of treachery toward an ailing princess. Charles has wiped his hands of them forever, so what will happen next in the Sussex saga? Only time will tell. But until next time, guys, we'll see you again for more royal news and analysis. Goodbye for now, guys.